Hello everybody, Jeff at Cutter Masters. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks now using the new CMO3. We redesigned what was the CMO3, which is a radius attachment that came on the Cutter Master um, because it needed some help. So we used our Pro Radius Air base, which has wider dovetails, really nice machine fits. It's a pretty accurate setup. The new CMO3 then just has the top, which fits nicely on our pivot assembly. And <clears throat> we're gonna grind today. These are actually variable pitch tools. We're gonna put these corner reds on here. We're gonna show you how to line that up. Uh, not a lot of grinders will do variable pitch. This one's variable pitch also. This tool that's in here is a ball a 10 millimeter ball i'm just going to show you how i hold on to this and index the flutes so we have a little digital readout up there and it's uh, at the radius so we picked up zero using this header finder then i back this wheel away one half the diameter of the tool in this case it's actually 196 or so <clears throat> and when i when i'm grinding the tool so i'm i'm Pretty much all set up to grind my rads. Um, when you're grinding a ball nose, the spindle is supposed to be centered. On a pro assembly, if this face right here, this little notch is lined up with this face, then it's pretty much centered. So the process is pretty straightforward. I'm just doing this to show you how I usually like to hold on to the spindle. So when you want to index flutes, you can pull it away. and drop it back and then it picks up the next flute. So the, the pro, I'm usually holding up, up here with one hand so I can just, I can index and then drop it back. It's very accurate, it goes back within a couple of tenths so it's really easy to not nick the flutes when you're making your way around a tool. So we're gonna sharpen up this ball nose and then we're gonna get onto these variable pitch tools. We will show you how we do that when I get there. Thanks for watching.